We're here with head track and field coach David Self uh, with the Sam Houston State track and field program. Uh, coach Self, just give us a background on how the fall semester went training wise uh, with the power speed athletes. We saw the cross country athletes run uh, and as they transition to the track. But just kind of tell us how has the fall training season been going? So very well. I'm really pleased with where we're at. Um, the group has been training really hard. Um, it's the hard part about track season is you get in in August and you, know, you get right to it and you you have 17 weeks of training before you even get to think about competing. So um, as a whole, the group has done very, very well. We've done great things in the weight room. Um, you know, we had, we had great weather all fall, so that's always a plus when you train outdoors um, to be able to get some good work in. And um, it's, uh, I think, across the board with, with all this power, the power speed group, um, the kids have done a great job. All right. Um, tell us about some of the returners, like DJ Hayes, uh, maybe Sunday Foster uh, and some of the returners and how their training has been going uh, compared to where they've been the past year, the past two years. Okay. Well, you know, with DJ as someone who is successful as he has been, um, you know, he's always looking to have a great year. You know, this is, you know, it's an Olympic trials year. It's his fifth year, it's his last year of eligibility. So um, he's really doing the work and, and he, he knew what it took early on coming in. Um, so I, I'm pleased with the things he's done. And, um, his fitness levels are great on the track, so I'm, I'm you know, a, a typical uh, DJ Hay season is what we're looking at. You know, a guy that's going to come back and defend his championships in the 400 and, and do well in the relays. I think one of the biggest things we've seen is we had such a big freshman group last year. Now they come back as sophomores. They know what it takes. They understand what it's all about. Um, it's not just about surviving your freshman year. It's about getting a good training year in. And, uh, you know, people like Sunday Foster and Christian Austin, um, you know, on the guys' side, um, also um, uh, uh, Rodney Jones, um, Jesse Martinez, Brian Hilaire, all those guys have really come in. Matthew Viverett's having a great year. So um, it's not so much culture shock to them as it is, all right, let's just get after it and train hard. So, you know, they're really coming around and have had a great year. And I think with that freshman group that, that did well as a group last year, I really see, think you're going to see them really kind of rise um, – rise to the occasion, have a, have a great year right. as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the schedule looks like for this spring semester uh, in the indoor and kind of touch on when the conference meets are uh, both indoors and during the outdoor season. Okay. Um, indoors is, uh, you know, a little bit different than last year's. We don't have to do quite as much traveling. We're still going to take a couple of trips and, and be out there a little bit, but um, we're going to start the year off. Um, we're always excited about it every year. Um, the 14th, our first meet will be at Texas A&M. You, know, you get a chance to get on a bank track, you know, the place that uh, is a site for the national championship. So you're always excited about running on that track there. Um, so we'll be there on the 14th, and uh, that's been a wonderful motivator um, for the kids. You know, you keep reminding them that the uh, first meet out is with the big boys at A&M, and that, that tends to kind of make you want to make sure you're doing the things you have to do. Um, then we'll take a weekend off, um, and then uh, the 27th, 28th, we'll be at the University of Houston. Uh, it's a multi-event competition for our uh, for our multi-event kids, um, and then after that, we will go to um, Wichita. Um, uh, just it, it's kind of a far trip, but it's, it we we ran really well there last year. The kids like going up there. It's a chance for us to go and see some different people and kind of get a different change a little bit. Um, once again, it's also it's a flat 200 meter track, which is what we run our conference meet on. So we try and get on flat 200s as much as we can. Um, then on the 11th, um, we'll be off. Then the 18th, we'll go up to, um, to Norman. We'll run at the University of Oklahoma, which is the same site as the indoor conference championships, which will be the next weekend, the 24th and 25th of February. Um, so we'll go to there two weeks in a row, get us a chance to get on the track and kind of get a feel for it going in. Um, and then, you know, obviously a last chance meet at Arkansas. And then hopefully, you know, a couple, two, three kids going to the uh, national championships in Idaho, which will be... Uh, a big fun trip. We get a chance to go up there and um, Idaho at the end of February, beginning of March. I'm sure will be quite a bit different weather-wise. So glad, glad it's indoors. Um, but then outdoors, um, we'll, we'll stay pretty regional um, for the most part. And that's one of the great things about being here is you don't have to go very far for great track. You know, Texas relays every year. They bumped it up, so it's at the uh, the very end of March this year, not the beginning of April like it has been the last few years. Um, we'll compete in Houston um, twice at Rice University. Um, I'm just kind of going to go through the dates aren't set to. Well, we're hosting two competitions this year. Yes. We're hosting uh, something that we started last year with Stephen F. Austin, a dual meet, um, which I believe is March 16th. 
Uh, yes, uh, they're the back half of spring break. Um, with the schedule on it, 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 it's the 17th. We're actually going to go on a Saturday and not a Friday. Um, it's just easier for everyone's schedule involved because both Stephen F. and us are on spring break that week. But something we've kind of revived, you know, the old dual meet format where it's just us and SFA. We line up and, and uh, it's kind of a bragging rights and it's a great way to start the outdoor season off. Um, and then also um, we'll be um, hosting uh, a multi-events competition. Um, which is a weekend after, or actually the week after Texas Relays. Um, so that'll be a chance for our kids to, to have a great heptathlon, decathlon here. And then March 5th, or excuse me, May 5th, I believe it is, um, we will have the Sandy State Twilights. First collegiate meet we've had here in, in quite some time, but uh, we wanted to get a chance to let the kids kind of stay close and, and compete on their home track. And we've got four or five schools that are already interested. We're going to try and limit it and make the field size fairly Fairly controlled, run a twilight meet, something we can run off in about four hours um, in the late afternoon, early evening, and uh, you know, it's a great competition. Uh, the conference meet this year is at uh, Texas State in San Marcos, and uh, it's May 11th, 12th, and 13th. Um, it's on their new facility, so we're excited to go down there um, and uh, be able to compete there in their last conference meet in the South.